Hello everyone, welcome to Music Crafts. I am Minna and I am your host on this channel. Today I come to you from a very warm knitting nook here in the northeast of England. It's not very often that it gets uh, very warm here, so I am not going to complain because I've been complaining the whole spring that it's not been very nice weather. So I'm just going to put up with this. I've been uh, quite busy again uh, in my daytime job and uh, I haven't really had time to um, knit as much as I would have wanted to. And also because of, uh, of that, I've uh, not had uh, time to make another episode uh, as quickly as I normally would. And we have uh, Ninja over here, who is uh, a very warm dog. One could even call a hot dog. Uh, and as usual, I'm not sponsored by any of the brands that I'm going to be talking about here. Without uh, any further delays, let's get to this episode eight. And uh, let's start by having a final look at my now finally finished uh, Sauberball Crazy socks, which are both uh, blocked now. And uh, I am quite pleased with these. Um, they almost have a, almost matching uh, stripes, even though there is not um, not really like a repetition in this uh, this yarn. Um, I would probably recommend for future reference for myself as well to block both socks at the same time because I feel like uh, so I block this. Uh, uh, um, at separate times uh, because I kind of wanted to test out the first sock when it was ready on my new sock blockers but I feel like I somehow blocked them slightly different uh, shape and, and size uh, if you're interested uh, go look um, uh, check out my episode uh, 6 and 7 for more detail about this uh, uh, sock project uh, and this yarn and also my experience with the sock blockers. I have started a new summer sock project again, uh, as well. Uh, I, uh, like I've said before, I really like to have uh, socks uh, which are very simple, uh, small project to keep with me in uh, in my purse uh, wherever I go. So if I have a few minutes here and there, I can just uh, rip it out and uh, knit wherever I want to. So I'm making these uh, uh, blue socks. I'm sorry, the um, color probably doesn't come through. I had to close the curtain here so that the sun doesn't shine right uh, into this area. And uh, so this is um, blue blue socks. Um, I'm knitting with uh, King Cole cotton socks uh, four ply yarn, as you can see there. This uh, comes as a 100 gram ball and there's about uh, 365 meters. This is 58% uh, cotton, 38% polyamide and 4% PBT. So PBT stands for, and I'll have to read from my cheat sheet here because I don't remember it by heart yet, polybutylene terephthalate. Um, I am not great at uh, pronouncing this uh, either, so apologies for that. And uh, so I had to look into this because I was curious about that, what this PBT is. And there's actually some uh, quite good uh, resource uh, material for this uh, to read. If you're interested, I'll put some uh, uh, the links and the sources I, uh, I'm using here. I'll put them into the description box, uh, links to them. So PBT is used to improve elastic properties of cotton which is important in socks, obviously, because uh, otherwise they won't stay in the shape and uh, uh, can be quite uncomfortable to wear. Uh, so this PBT is used quite commonly in uh, uh, textile world, it seems. What I would guess that the polyamide does in the mix uh, of this yarn is it adds uh, durability. I knitted black socks last summer with the same yarn, and I'll just show them really quickly to you. You know, they're covered in dog hair, it seems. Uh, um, uh, they are clean. Um, and uh, so uh, these were very pleasant. I really like uh, like wearing these in the summer when it gets a little bit warmer. Now the blue ones that I'm making now, I've made the um, cuff a little bit shorter than uh, the black ones. And I'm knitting this with the uh, uh, 2.25 millimeter needles. The uh, recommended needle size for this is 3.25 uh, millimeters. I have a sock pattern from King Cole using this yarn and uh, uh, I think in that pattern, I don't have it handy with me right now, uh, the recommendation was to use uh, smaller size needles. And uh, uh, so I've gone for the 2.25 millimeters. I have um, 16 stitches uh, per needle, so that makes 64 
uh, stitches in total and that's uh, perf perfect for my size uh, foot. Also I did not mention already but this color is called cobalt. It is uh, quite a beautiful blue color. There seems to be 10 different colors available of this uh, uh, cotton sock uh, yarn and uh, uh, it's available from your stockist, uh, King Cole stockist, uh, or online. I purchased this from my local yarn shop, uh, Ready Steady Knit in Prudhoe. I find this yarn quite pleasant to knit with. It's um, especially at this time of the year when it can be kind of warm, and it's actually very warm here right now. Um, I um, my hands tend to sweat a little bit uh, in uh, when it's warm, and uh, so holding a um, like a wool fiber uh, yarn is not necessarily ideal in that situation always. I have knitted uh, cotton socks before um, without this uh, PBT in it and uh, they uh, lose the shape when you use them. You know how even woolly socks uh, stretch uh, but then uh, they usually come back in, in the shape and especially once you wash them. So um, the cotton socks that I knitted before they don't really um, uh, like have that elasticity uh, in them and uh, so I just use them as my summer um, uh, bed socks and uh, uh, this definitely has that kind of stretch and it uh, then like crimps up uh, together again. If you like sock hand knitted socks even in the summer but you are not quite sure about uh, using uh, um, having uh, woolly socks in the summer I think that this is uh, a very fine alternative and I'm actually quite happy that I have found this. Also the colors, the different colors that they have are quite um, nice beautiful colors and uh, um, I am thinking if time uh, and other projects uh, permit perhaps I would uh, um, knit some uh, striped ones as well. In my other updates I have now finished the, both the front and the back of the King Cole Chunky sweater uh, which I'm knitting in uh, King Cole Chunky Tweed yarn. So here you can see, um, uh, maybe you can see. And um, uh, But the, this one uh, I'm uh, going to wait a little bit before I continue so that it cools down. It's a bit uh, warm with this kind of a chunky yarn. I have cast on before it got really warm. I had time to cast on the first uh, sleeve. I've just finished with the ribbing and uh, knitted a few rows on uh, after that and that's where uh, I, I have stopped with this. I uh, very much still like this uh, colorway and the tweed yarn and I look forward to finishing this uh, uh, quite soon. And again, see my previous episodes for more detail on the yarn that I'm using and uh, the pattern that I'm using as well. And my third whip that I'm uh, currently working on is the uh, Citroen Shawl by Nitty. And again, uh, uh, go have a quick look at my previous episodes if you want to find out more. So to show you, I have now progressed with this so that I am in the sixth uh, pattern repeat. So uh, one of these ruffled and one of these uh, smooth sections is one repeat and uh, I would like to add at least uh, one more um, repeat uh, like this. I have uh, started with the second uh, ball of yarn that I have and uh, just to remind you that this is uh, Blacker Breed's uh, Blue Faced Lester Lace uh, weight yarn that I'm using. It is very lovely to knit and uh, um, and actually this is knitable in the warm weather. Now I'm in a stage as well with this where in this uh, kind of a smooth section rows I was, I've just uh, started or gone back to a smooth section after the ruffled one here so I have over 200 stitches on the needles here and in the ruffled sections I will have over 500 stitches on the needles so that means that it is uh, progressing quite slowly now per each uh, row. But uh, I, I enjoy knitting with this yarn and I enjoy the uh, very much how this uh, turns out looking. I'm optimistically also starting to eye new projects here because uh, these ones are starting to... I can see the light at the end of the tunnel with my these two big uh, whips and uh, 
so I'm uh, I have some uh, thoughts and ideas about what I, what I would like to knit next uh, a couple of bigger projects but maybe I'll uh, have time to look at those more next time in my next episode and I'll share with you a little bit my thought process how how I choose new projects uh, or new new whips when I when I am looking at uh, things it is very exciting isn't it though <laughs> I, I it feels almost like a Christmas morning when you start a new whip I'm not really like a seasonal knitter um, like uh, I've uh, noticed that people knit uh, more of a summer things well I, I do knit these socks uh, that's uh, to be fair but um, uh, like I would like to knit a short sleeve top at some point but I think I would have to do it like uh, in the winter so that it would actually be then uh, done by summer so I can use it <laughs> um, I again because I don't have that much time to knit uh, so it's better if I try and plan it ahead uh, so to speak planning is always great so I'm kind of like thinking uh, maybe a uh, uh, finding a summer top or uh, um, some uh, like cardigan or uh, sweater or another shawl as well I definitely I'm a shawl person and uh, I do have some um, uh, plans for knitting uh, or crocheting Christmas presents as well so I um, it's better I get around to those sooner than later because uh, otherwise it's going to be a rush when uh, December comes around in my final update uh, you may remember some episodes back I mentioned to you that I have uh, I've been having uh, some knee problems and uh, I had just gotten uh, Ashford spinning wheel and it like really flared up um, uh, with the knee and so I was uh, I've been very careful about trying to avoid repetitive motions with the knee like that like uh, pedaling uh, uh, the spinning wheel um, I don't think that it would have been great for me at uh, at that point. I do think my knee is starting to get better now. So in a few weeks time, I'm uh, going to start uh, uh, my summer annual leave for a few weeks. So I'm hoping that I'll have some time to look into the spinning wheel again and um, perhaps uh, try to figure out if you remember, I uh, was having some issues with the bobbin uh, not going around both, both ways. So, uh, I'm hoping that I'll figure that out uh, then and uh, can start actually like making something with it as well. If you enjoyed watching this, like and subscribe below. And don't forget that you can also follow me on Instagram where I post for, uh, quite frequently updates about my whips and also our dog walks and, uh, and the daily dog pictures. And I hope you uh, really have enjoyed. I hope that you're enjoying the fabulous weather that we are having at least here in uh, in England, uh, in UK, and uh, um, and like I said, I am not going to complain because I've been complaining about bad weather uh, for such a long time this year. So uh, I am just going to enjoy, even if I'm boiling. And uh, with that, I would like to thank you for watching, and until next time, thank you.